Hi people, how are you doing? Welcome, episode 9 of my Let's Play series, season 3. I've been modifying uh, some stuff in the game. Well, in uh, you can see I expanded the base a lot. I made a small farm in here, which now has some extra ships. I only have two last time I checked. Oh well. And I only have uh, two chickens, too. So, how can I have four ships? Well, maybe they reproduce them uh, by themselves by eating some grass. Anyway, expansions. What did I do? What uh, did I make uh, before? Well, you can see there are two low voltage. Uh, solar generation arrays and three so normal solar panels here I place uh, two solar panels connected to a single bat box which is connected to nothing and I use to recharge my bat pack without disturbing my macerating and cooking procedures and I made a small base in here <coughs> it's mostly an expansion of the main base which uh, with, well with a huge uh, access you can see it's a three by three hole and all the walls are made of uh, basalt since the uh, last update basalt is now resilient to creeper explosions so if you want to avoid uh, your base being penetrated by creepers you can make it with basalt and enjoy in immunity. I also used the, the diamond honso to cut some marble bricks into slabs and some basalt into slabs and place them on the ground. Like uh, od other stuff, you can break them and they will be like so. I can also break a, a basalt slab and it won't break into cobblestone basalt. I don't know if uh, turning the basalt in bricks will keep the basalt uh, resistant to explosions or not. Further testing might be needed. And I did this to, uh, in case of a creeper exploding on the roof. Only, well, skeletons and other, well, spiders at least won't uh, be getting inside. You can't uh, really avoid other stuff to get in. And here I didn't wonder remodeling a lot. I place here some glowstone, the skylights because well, <coughs> it's a stone or so it can be blown with relative ease. Mm, why do I have that made of cobblestone? See, much better. I suppose I could uh, change the exchange this with. Uh, slabs made with smooth stone, but can do that later. <coughs> anyway, you can see we have a good amount of uh, resources right now. We are pretty good supplied with uh, different stuff. So I suppose uh, it would be time to expand our operations, which is also part of the reason I made this new room. <coughs> I could uh, have also have deleted all this section in here and merge all together this. I might do that if I find things uh, a little complicated like like they are now. But for the time being I like it li uh, this way. Yeah, I know it's a little strange to have this many holes in there. But, oh well. Another thing I made, you may have noticed, I no longer have here the, the rest power 2 items. You can see they are up there. I moved rest power energy facility to this uh, empty room in here. You can see they are all connected. There are some panels covering here, 
here and under this uh, crystal block and I also made a new floor you can see my little plantation is fully stocked I might be doing some melon farm in the future uh, you can see I made a new floor and a roof and from here we can see everything so it's mostly construction nothing really strange or whatever I also deleted a lot of um, tall grass using the sickle I really don't have the slightest idea of how from two ships I got four but oh well I swear I didn't uh, make them a mate at any time uh, anyway we should be doing something new and I thought uh, this is a good time as any to take my scoop <coughs> sorry for that my scoop and graph ourselves something in the way of beekeeping haha <laughs> bees where are you would be nice if I were able to graph the those wisps with uh, with the scoop but oh well we need to break left click until you cr uh, break it the beehive and we got Meadows Princess and Meadows Drone remember since the last uh, upgrade to um, forestry uh, bees are now well they, they now have a genetic profile and so we need to um, craft something let me see if I can find it uh, rather quickly, yes, Bealizer, I believe, which doesn't seem to have uh, a recipe, or at least I can check. I can't check it with. Uh, okay, other stuff can I can. And uh, okay. So, what else was I going to tell? Mm, nope, nothing else. Uh, I'm going to graph myself some sticky resin and some whoop, and some of the uh, all that wreath. You can see I expanded that farm. I I mean, I will collect uh, some of the resources my base is producing, and I'll be back with you in a second. Well, I have to move my <coughs> my base to the tallest point in my base because there were monsters nearby. Oh dear! See, there was a zombie in there and a skeleton in there, and I must be careful because since I am in at uh, in hard mode difficulty, skeletons hurt by by like uh, three hearts per arrow or something well I swear there was a skeleton in there let's check if the zombie burning around here dropped something seems like he did not oh he might have gone there and look it's this one is uh, one of the thumbcraft zombies you can no, they are the intelligent variety of zombies because, well, theoretically intelligent variety, because they have red eyes. And as you can see, they uh, drop this, the zombie brains. Yeah, I know, there's no single door on this side. Fascinating. Anyway. Of course, I now lack a flax plantation. I should uh, solve that ASAP since I don't want to hit some sort of um, well, short, uh, shortfall on flax, which is quite unlo uh, unlikely considering the resources I have uh, uh, right now, but it's uh, possible nonetheless. So let's uh, green some silver ore and see if we can cook some more coal, uh, copper. Yeah, 
perfect. So what I'm going to do now is to expand my solar capacity. <coughs> Sorry for a second. I'm going to need uh, more batteries. You can see I have some charged ones in here. I, I think I could use them, but I prefer not to. Uh, I'm going to need some cooked iron, which means I'm going to go upstairs to get it. And oh yes, I am going to need some diamonds and redstone. Uh, extra points to you if you can imagine what am I going to craft right now. Well, the first step, of course, is to put, place some iron to cook in here. Now that we have an a blue electric furnace to hand, uh, and well, <coughs> let me check. Oh, eight fragment of lost knowledge. Great. The, I know there's a really small chance in here, just uh, three percent of getting anything, but frankly. At the cost of cobblestone, it's uh, a really a real bargain. Anyway, let's start getting some tin also, because we need tin for the for those. And yes, I'm going to grab myself some extra diamonds just in case. I don't like to run out. Of, well, not really. I can use only. F I only need four after all. Yes, I am going to craft another industrial craft uh, battery kind of thing, the energy crystal. This works like uh, their battery, but with a very high amount of energy in its internal storage capacity. And I am going to craft an MFE, which is kind of easy to craft. Uh, let me see. Do I have? Yes, I do have uh, already crafted uh, copper cables. So with this and uh, this, we craft ourselves something that should work. What did I did? I did something wrong, didn't I? Oh yes. <laughs> Tends to. I have this. I don't know tendency of making things like so. But uh, can I can solve it, I suppose. So right now we need to craft uh, more batteries. And there we go. Should craft uh, like 32 tops. Well, 20, more than enough. And I now need uh, the refined iron I left upstairs cooking. <coughs> 28. Well, for now, should be enough if we consider I have some reserves in here. Yeah, should be more than enough. <coughs> and remember, you can turn uh, refined iron into blocks and all the way uh, back without any kind of trouble. So it's not a problem to store all your refined iron into machine blocks. Also, you can macerate refined iron in in the macerator to get back uh, iron in case you need in case you need to you can always turn anything you have cooked into its previous version well not anything you can turn uh, macerate charcoal to get uh, wood for example but if you need to craft uh, bronze the way industrial craft does which is this and requires bron uh, well, bronze dude, which is crafted with three copper dust and one tin dust. Uh, you can green your tin bars and copper bars into the dust. So it's a fine way of uh, making sure you have the materials you need at hand. Okay, um, I am going to craft... What am I going to craft right now? Oh, yes. With a furnace and a machine block and a battery. We are going to craft some generators. 
You never have too much generators, but remember we need more stuff than just generators. In fact, I am going to reclaim some refined iron because there's something we are going to use even more and that's these uh, electronic circuits. Yep, we're going to use them even more than regular ones. And I should craft myself some extra um, copper cable. Okay. And now we can shift click and things are placed in here, which is good. Perfect. <coughs> <laughs> Yes, I know, it's a little tedious to do all this work. Oh, sorry. But uh, as soon as I have enough uh, uh, equivalent exchange production, I will be able to make a lot of logistic pipes and let things be crafted by themselves instead of uh, requiring my well, direct intervention. Oh dear, what did I run out of? Oh yes, electronic circuits. So, got seven solar panels. Time to claim some already crafted stuff, I suppose. Uh, anyway, first I need to clear a little my inventory. I am not going to need all this stuff. Uh, well, the MFA, I'm going to use it later. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to use again, if I can find it, the electronic wrench. Let me check and enable. Always check if you're going to use it in lossless mode or in regular mode to avoid nasty surprises. Okay, I used a huge chunk of my energy surplus, but I have these two in there providing electricity just for this reason. <coughs> I am going to need some wood and I am going to need some ca cabling. Just as a safety measure, I am going to keep a stack of copper cable in my backpack, well, in my, in my alchemy bag. And we're going to need, I believe it's... Uh, I don't have the slightest idea of what am I doing. Oh dear. <coughs> it wasn't like this. Yes, I completely forgot the recipe. I am so am ashamed. I can't even bring myself to remember it right now. Oh well. <coughs> we can just uh, look for transformer, I believe. If I can manage to write it. Yeah. Light voltage transformer. Oh, of course. Yeah. There we go. And since I am going to craft myself an MCE, and so I am going to make another of those um, <coughs> nasty looking. Oh dear, ah, here we go. Well, let's graph ourselves one, two, and three. Yeah, three should be more than enough for our purposes. Let me, oh dear, we just eight would have been more than enough, but oh well. So there we go, low voltage, a normal and light voltage transformer. We now get outside. I know it's dark. I, s I just hope there won't be any monster nearby. Let's place this in here, this in here. Oh, let's go sleep. Okay, nothing like a, like a good nap. And yes, I have my backpack outside because I want it to be, well, at hand in case I need it. So what am I going to do now is to play, is to grab myself all this stuff. So I'm going to grab myself again the electric wrench and let's check how the things are. Lossless mode, perfect. 
and it just finished to work everything. Perfect. There we go. Lots of uh, energy has been wasted, but I'm going to recharge it in here. Okay, uh, so what am I going to do now is to break this to break this, place the MFE like in here, graph this one, disable lossless. Perfect. You can move the face, uh, the transformers, and the bat boxes, energy arrays, etc., by clicking. Well, while well, left, left click, uh, right clicking the size you want it to look at. Uh, or you can kneel, shift uh, and click to make it move to a random di direction. So there we go, and I hope... no, oh, strange. Yeah, you move it to the opposite side. So what am I going to do now? Is to grab this bat box and to well, there we go. So light voltage transformers uh, work this this uh, following way. Well, all transformers work this way. Essentially, the different side in the case of transformers uh, that means the side with the three dots. We can go to here and check there are three dots in all transformers is the one that will output the energy that's uh, used by that transformer. So in this case, low voltage... Uh, no, the other way around, sorry. Low voltage will come out from all the single dots. And from the three dots will get out... Um, well, nothing in this case. Uh, it will get in the... The, uh, the high voltage or whatever current will go in here like so and out will get, well in this case medium current and will get out uh, low voltage current. However, remember that uh, high voltage transformers crafted like so work into work another way. They can they work like that but if you apply them a redstone current they will receive high voltage current through the single dotted sides and emit extreme voltage current from the three dotted sides. Uh, in case you are wondering what's the difference between high, low, and medium and extreme voltage current, essentially it is, it's this, the output. A bat box has an output of uh, 32 energy units per second per tick, in this, uh, to be precise. An MFE has 128. <coughs> An MFSU, which is the advanced version that can hold like uh, 9 million or 90 million or something, some humongous amount of energy, uh, that one outputs 512 energy units per tick. However, extreme current uh, are sent in packages of 2,000 energy units per tick. It is mainly used when you have a solar array or other a huge stack of uh, generators producing power. So the lost ratio you get for long distance cabling will be reduced. Uh, essentially, if you uh, you lose one energy unit per x per x number of uh, cables. That depends on the t type of cable you are using. For example, glass fiber cable and high voltage cable four times insulated are the two cables with the le less losing ratio of uh, energy units per, per distance. You need a lot of, uh, for example, high voltage, high voltage insulated cables to lose one uh, energy unit. Oh, and by the way, if you try to use... Uh, the cables have uh, limits. If you try, for example, to use the ultra-low current, which I never use, 
and you can craft nine with uh, three tin. I don't really use it use it because uh, I tend to find a lot more copper and I prefer to have some rubber and the like. And you can utilize the, then the copper cable later to craft stuff. But anyway, the ultra low current cable would uh, burn and be destroyed if you try to make uh, like uh, 32 units of energy to cross it. Also, you can't connect directly a, a bat box to, a, to an MFS, <coughs> but uh, that's not really a huge problem. So we're going to let things like this. Let me see. Nope. See? I can't. It will explode. It burns. And by the way, let me recharge also the electric wrench because I am not going to move anything else. So how are we, are we going to move energy from up there to down here? Well, we can do... We can craft uh, gold cables, cables, which uh, is what am I going to do? Because there are some items I will be making later that uh, will require to use uh, gold cables. Gold cables are crafted like regular copperstone cables, but using gold instead. So there we go. Insulated. However, you can see there's a little mound uh, in there. Well, we can isolate it again for twice the isolation. That uh, will reduce the amount of power loss, but that will also mean you will suffer less risk of burning yourself if you're close to the cable. Also, you can see there's there's some color. Copper cable is copper, well, and gold can be seen as golden. You can also use uh, industrial crafts painting with, with the painters, which are crafted like so. Uh, of course, you'll then need to tint them, and you will lose the color, but the painter will remain. And you can use these colors to mark different. Uh, Cablings. You can do that also with uh, Red Power 2 pneumatic tubing, but you need to use a Lorams version of that, which is the colors I told you before will require this, the flags and the like. And I'm not sure I can really find it right now. Must, ah, yes, here we are. These uh, paint bruises and paints etc. See? But uh, we're not going to use that yet. So now I am getting 8 and 8 16 and 8 24 and 2 26 energy units per tick into the MFE which is outputting at a rate of 128 energy units into this transformer. The transformer will, will turn that uh, voltage into low. That means it will clock the output of the MFE from 128 to 32 units per tick. However, it can output from its uh, five sides that have a single dot. So you can compensate uh, with that. If you're only going to run a single line of uh, energy from there, then you're only going to get uh, 32 units, energy units per tick, which is a little loss. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's the limit. In fact, four should be the limit, but I'm generous every now and then. I don't mind to lose some voltage. So, since Oh, well, I can't place anything in here anyway, can't I? If I try to place a um, machine in here, it will connect to this golden cable and to the to this uh, copper cable, but uh, it will receive first current from the golden cable, and it will be destroyed. If you place uh, a regular machine in, uh, connected to more than 32 power per tick, it will just blow up. So I'm going to place the extractor in there. 
and say I'm going to place for now, yeah, like so. And say I'm going to, with all the heart in my heart, uh, all the pain in my heart, I am going to cover that uh, window, at least partially. Why? Because I am going to place machinery in front of it. I'm going to place it in there. Now, if you're wondering, uh, well, th remember th these four slots in here, they are used to host upgrades. You can make these four upgrades right now, but don't worry, they stack, so you don't have to choose. The overclocker will increase the energy consumption of the machine in exchange of more speed. That's the main reason I stopped using the advanced, ma the advanced machines altogether. They well gave me a rough ride before, and I decided it was easier to just uh, turn to the overclockers, and you don't have to keep the unit uh, with the rest on current, so it uh, still works and the like all the time and consumes energy to keep itself uh, at peak condition. Then you have the transformer upgrade. This uh, by the uh, this is mostly like having this but integrated into the into the machine and then we have the energy storage unit and the Lapatron loader. The Lapatron loader allows you to place here instead of just uh, batteries which you, you can place a battery under one of the machines if you need to provide it with uh, extra power you can place then a Lapatron crystal Lapotron crystals, by the way, are these babies in here, which are exceedingly expensive. See? And then there's the energy storage unit, which is very cheap and only uh, obeys one purpose and is increase this internal capacitor. So the machine has more autonomy. Personally, I mostly use these two, especially the overclocker and, well, especially the overclocker because the transformer which, uh, with three or four per machine in fact with three you can connect the machines to a uh, 512 energy units per tick current anyway I am going to craft a last machine and I'm going to uh, say this is finished this episode uh, is finished at least for today. Let's uh, cook the silver dust and let's cook some more coal and let's cook, uh, well, not cook, but macerate this tin ore. No, that's extractor. There we go. So, what I'm going to do now is to craft a compressor, which is here. The compressor requires a machine block, electronic circuit, and some stone. So I'm going to get uh, this, I'm going to get a machine block and I am going to need some refined iron mm -hmm. which I will get from the machine blocks. I'm going to need some redstone too and I suppose yeah, that's all essentially. So first I'm going to turn Okay, that wasn't a smart move. There we go. First I am going to make myself some more circuits. Perfect. And now we're going to place the recipe. There we go. Eight, uh, you need six smooth stone, it won't work with uh, cobblestone, the machine block and the electronic circuit, and we make a compressor. The compressor, well, it compresses things. It, uh, it makes uh, things into smaller versions of, the, of the themselves. It won't work with, uh, with stone, anyway. But, 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 let me see if I can show it uh, to you right now. Use. Well, you can use it to craft the recycler, which turns uh, items you don't want into scrap, which is then used into another advanced machine. Oh, and by the way, 
I believe the well, you can upgrade the electric furnace or you can use the advanced version, the induction furnace. It is an, uh, which requires some advanced materials like carbon plates, which you can see requires a compressor, a raw carbon mesh. Well, raw carbon mesh is done is made from coal dust. Uh, but anyway, that's uh, the main use of the compressor. You turn some expanded uh, items into more compact ones. For example, if I grab myself some bronze, a little more tin, copper and refined iron, which I do have on me right now, I suppose. Yes, I do. Let's craft ourselves another batch of bronze. Okay, now if I remember right, it was a little like uh, this. Yes, we get mixed metal ingots. Let's make uh, like four. We're going to use them later, so it's as good a moment as any to use them, and I show you how the compressor works. Well, you press, you place the items in there, and they will be slowly compressed into another shape. You can upgrade a compressor the same way you can upgrade the macerator, the extractor, or <coughs> the electric furnace. There we go. Now, advanced alloy. Advanced alloys can be used to craft advanced machine blocks, which are used to craft uh, some of the advanced uh, stuff, like the recycler, the induction furnace, the mass fabricator, the terraformer, the teleporter. Yes, we do have a teleporter. And you can see it's a shapeless recipe. Uh, you need it to make the reactor chamber and the nuclear reactor. And reinforces stone and glass. And the mining laser. Uh, well, the nano, the nano saber, which I won't be making, I suppose. The, and some iridium plate. Iridium plate is expensive, but you need it to make uh, some really good items, like the quantum suite, which has changed. You now require to make first the nano suite. That's a, a nice change. It, the nano suite has, uh, was absent from previous version of Industrial Craft and you were going directly to the quantum suit because uh, the nano suit was a little buggy or had some trouble so we're going to need a lot of carbon plates and well one diamond piece per item I suppose they work the same way but I won't be giving them any time I believe this is a good wrapping up point for episode 9 we made a new Industrial craft item. We moved a little the industrial craft production facility. I introduced you to new concepts as night has gone by. So thanks for watching this episode 9. I hope to see you in episode 10 when I hope we will be researching a little more. You can see my crystal farm is faring quite well. I'm going to start fairly soon researching the um, crystal bell, which by the way doesn't really require of me to use the um, to use the crystals to research. I can simply use l fragments of lost knowledge. They have a chance to give you that item. It's uh, random, but uh, you have a better chance if you get uh, yourself the well the item. Oh, if you use the beast, crystal, beast crystals, they have to be for an increased chance. Oh, and you can see we already reached Eternalis fuel stage. This is fairly good. We are going to use Eternalis fuel to craft ourselves in the future once we have enough. The claim star. Ain. Oh well, we, we can use Mobius well directly. And in fact, I am going to craft myself 
one of these. I only require diamonds. I am awfully low on diamonds. I will be going to get some. But this has a very, very exceedingly good use. The claim star ein can be used as a sort of uh, commoding, commodity or exchange exchange item between forms. So if we place here this and graph ourselves one piece of redstone, you see we can only get fuel, but we can get all the energy transmitted immediately to the crane star ein, which then can be used to get energy or matter in without distinction. So I got myself two diamonds from the investment of one and some <coughs> and some Eternalist fuel. So this has been episode 9, hope you liked it, and see you soon, bye!